YouTube what's up guys for today's video we're gonna be doing a three guard on top and it's gonna be a mid low fade tutorial step by step so you guys want to make sure you guys take out a notebook and take some notes on this haircut because the end result is really blurry guys you know I'm gonna be showing you guys all my fading techniques my lever methods so to first start off this haircut tutorial we're gonna start in the middle of his C cup area the C cup area is just the side of his hairline right there you guys see it, it creates like a c shape um structure in his hairline and the highest point is going to be on top of the ear and we're going to dip it down towards the back of his occipital bone the occipital bone is the bone that protrudes from the back of the head so just go ahead and just um remove the bulk after applying the first guideline but you know, you guys don't want to take it towards all the way towards the top of the occipital bone. Just go ahead and just right now, um, touch the back of your head. There's going to be a bone in the back of your head, in the middle of the back of your head. So just go about two inches below that bone because we are doing a mid low fade. This is kind of like a drop fade, mid low fade, whatever you guys want to call it. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to be doing a mid low fade. So you guys see there, middle of the C cup highest point on top of the ear and it dips down towards the back of his occipital bone his occipital bone is about two inches above that guideline that we just set so in order for us to create a nice ball transition make sure that all the hair is just taken down with your trimmer and we're gonna go in with our andis foil shaver and we're not gonna go all the way up i'm applying a very soft pressure very soft touch when i use this you guys don't want to go in hard with the shaver because that's how you guys create really hard lines and it just makes it a lot harder for you guys to erase that zero that zero line and it's a it's the it's the step that a lot of beginning barbers struggle with you know because you guys do apply a lot more pressure and you guys feel like you guys have to go harder just to uh, make, make the machine work you know i guess better but that's not true you just the, the softer the touch the better and right here after creating our ball transition we're gonna grab our one guard with the lever open and we're gonna go two fingers above this line so just make sure you guys are applying consistent strokes you guys can use the whole blade of your clipper so whenever you guys are setting guidelines you guys want to make sure you use the whole blade of the clipper it doesn't matter but when you guys go into blending it's a whole different process of of what side of the machine to use what side of the blade to use and just pressure and everything is important and you guys see here i'm just taking it towards the back of the head and everything is nice and even and i'm just like just taking my time guys if you guys do have time you know don't rush your haircut don't rush your guidelines guidelines is the key to creating the best fades consistent guidelines will equal consistent fades and right here guys this is the this is the result right here of setting our guideline with the one guard with the lever open which is equivalent to a one and a half and right here we're going to split the guideline in half with our lever open i'm using my babyless gold fx and these are not zero gap these are straight from the box and i just like setting guidelines with this machine it just gives me more room uh, for error because it's not zero gapped and the whole point is for you guys to go from a two finger guideline that we set with the one guard with the lever open to now a one finger guideline of two separate guidelines so the first guideline is a 0.5 and the guideline above that is a one and a half so to get a better visual i made something for you guys just to, so you guys can understand a little bit better you know just to re-emphasize this so there's two guidelines here the first guideline we set with the lever open which is equivalent to a half and the one on top is the one guard with the lever open and i'm gonna go ahead and explain to you guys how to erase the first guideline which is the 0.5 so the way we do this is called the middle open close method our lever is going to be in the middle we're going to attack the guideline in the middle then we're gonna open up our lever and attack the whole guideline one more time just to make sure that everything's taken down and then close the lever and baby tap that line and just keep repeating the steps guys. So it's called the middle open close method. And if you guys have found any value out of my content guys, I really appreciate if you guys hit the sub button, give me a like, you know, ask me some dope questions down below in the comment section. So the middle open close method, like I was saying, 
is we start with our lever in the middle, attack the guideline in the middle, and we're just gonna keep repeating the process of opening up the lever little by little. You guys see there, the lever's in the middle. So if you guys ever get stuck, guys, if you guys ever lose your place in the middle open close method, all you gotta do is just restart the process. We're, we're, we're using the left corner of our clipper, of our blade, and attacking the middle of the guideline. You know, and we're just going in zones of the head. I blended out everything from the ear towards the temple of the head. And now I'm working from the ear towards the back of the occipital bone. So you guys see how it's just it's, it's just blending through. And I just have my, my lever in the middle. Then I'm going to open it up a little bit. Go a tiny bit higher. And that's why it's called the middle open close method because we start with the lever in the middle and we keep opening up the lever little by little until it's fully open so then we can close it and baby tap that smudge that you guys see there that's already almost fully blended so if you guys do do the shaver uh the shaver step efficient and you guys don't apply a lot of pressure it's gonna make it a lot easier for you guys to blend out your lines so then we restart the process again and then we go in the middle position and we just keep repeating the steps and after you guys you guys are just gonna do what's called lever play so what i do i just put my lever in the middle and i tack it in the middle and if there's dark spots in the middle region i just go and i attack that part of the head so if it's a little bit slightly higher than the middle part of the guideline, you guys just open up the lever a little bit and you lever play and you see if it's going to hit. If it doesn't hit, you just open it up a little bit or you close it a little bit and you just got to be able to use your eyes. And with experience, with time, you guys will be able to get this down, guys. So right here, once we're done blending out that line, we're going to open up our lever with the one guard and just go over the guideline one more time. And then we're going to do the closed to open method so this is different than middle open closed because we're gonna start with our lever closed and we're gonna baby tap the beginning of the guideline in this step because we are blending out that 1.5 guideline that we set with the one guard with the lever open and this is just gonna soften up that line it's not gonna fully erase the guideline the way we erase the, the guideline is it's gonna be by using our 0.5 guard which is our blending guard but for this step, all we're doing is closing the lever, baby tapping that line, going little by little, little by little, higher into the fade, higher into the fade. Like I'm demonstrating to you guys, the baby list gold FX has five levels. They're called notches. So it'll lock your machine. The lever will, will just stay put. It's not like the magic clip where the magic clip, you, you, you kind of just have to just play guessing games and see if it's in the middle. With experience, you guys will be able to do it faster. But if you're starting off, I highly recommend that you guys get a machine that has notches on the side because it just makes everything a lot easier and you're not playing any guessing games and you know, okay, I got five steps to go up into the guidelines. So I have to go this much higher every single time for me to be evenly going up five times. So just repeat the steps guys and after this step we're going to use our 0.5 guard. So after softening up our guideline, you guys see there there's a smudge, there's a hard line right there that we have to erase. The way we do this is we're going to again do the closed to open method and this step is the hardest step of the whole haircut because we're basically putting the whole fade together with this 0.5 guard so the whole fade is going to come down to how well you can really just use the corners of your clipper and how well you can just uh, just just be smooth with this blending process guys it's going to take you guys a lot of practice a lot of time to be able to train your eyes to see dark spots to see you know inconsistencies in your fades but it but you know if you stay consistent with your system with your lever play with your lever methods you guys are going to be able to get this down in no time guys because you know it wasn't up honestly guys 
I started cutting hair about two years ago getting serious into this and I never had a method until I started doing this method and I just kept doing it over time over time over time and it just kept getting easier and easier and easier my haircuts got better and I, I was able to work a lot faster so I say if you guys do watch other barbers if you guys have been taking gems from any other barbers just combine everybody's method and make it into your own thing make it into something that you can you can create you can cultivate and you can keep growing from your system everything in barbering everything in life i feel like is a system and the more repetition the more volume the more output that you put out by law you're just gonna get more out of it guys so just pay attention apply and just don't sleep on yourself guys because barbering is an art it doesn't matter how old or where you're from or whatever it is as long as you're able to practice and put in the work and put in the volume you're gonna be great at this guys so after erasing that guideline you know i just go in and i just keep re re retouching the area retouching the area doing lever play like i mentioned lever play is just a way for you guys to single out dark spots dark spots are just inconsistencies in your fades so that's how you get rid of dark spots by doing lever play and on this step we're gonna do the same thing again guys we're grabbing our 1.5 guard and we're doing the closed to open method and we only have one finger of room to work with so you guys are gonna go from that from the corner of his temple so the way that I like working it's called I just like fading in zones so from the ear towards the temple of the head once that's completely blended I go back and I go from the ear back towards the occipital bone, which is the back of the head. And then I go one more time and I just keep repeating the steps until, you know, I'm completely done with the with the close to open method. But no, no matter what, guys, after you guys run through these steps, you guys are going to have inconsistencies in the fade. And it's up to you guys to go back and just do detail work, do cornering methods lever play like i mentioned lever play is key when it comes to just detailing and right here in the back of the head i'm using the corners of my clippers because i mentioned to you guys it gets tricky when you guys are working in different sections of your client's head so after blending out that line now we're just gonna finish up this work and go with the close to open method with the two guard so my client has a three guard on top and to just give a quick rundown we went from sharpest which is our shaver to the trimmer to the guideline with the lever open to the one guard with the lever open we blended out those two lines after we used the 1.5 guard then the two guard and now we're finalizing the haircut with the lineup so it's just a quick rundown that's what fading is you go from a gradual you know sharpest using your sharpest tool to the least sharpest tool which is whatever is whatever length is on top of the head so when you guys do your lineups it's important for you guys to keep your clients hairline as natural as possible and just take a step back and really just look at your client and make sure that everything is nice and even sometimes you guys might do a lineup and you guys might think that it's even but then once you you know take a step back and you tilt tilt his head up and just get different perspectives on your client if you guys have a mirror have your client look at the mirror and then you guys will be able to get a clean look to see if it's straight or not because when you guys do bus cuts three guards four guards five guards or two guards on top the lineup is crucial because you can give him a blurry ass fade but if his lineup is not straight it's not on point it won't matter because your client is going to be unhappy regardless of how blurry the fade is and you guys see there that one big tip that i can just give you guys is the soft of the touch when you guys use it so just kind of like blatantly like use a soft touch but then when the machine touches the 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 hairline you can apply a little bit of pressure and just slide it back and your machine will just create some nice crisp just lines it's just it's just so crisp because before i used to apply a lot of pressure and i used to just nick my clients and just like just leave my clients hairline all red you know that that was a big mistake when i was starting off when i was cutting hair starting off and right here so and right here by using our thinning shears guys and just using our eyes to see inconsistencies of the fade you have to attack dark spots those dark spots are key in order for you guys to have a clean blurry fade i'm using my ys park comb and i'm using some thinning shears and this is the before and after using every single step in my haircut tutorial 
this is the end result right here guys a nice blurry mid low fade so it starts kind of high from the sides the highest part of the fade is at top of the ear and then it dips down towards the back of his occipital bone guys this is a perfect tutorial for you guys to apply if you guys are barely starting this is a three guard on top mid low blurry fade you guys see there stay consistent with your fading process stay consistent with your guidelines and stay consistent with the system that you guys are practicing you know just run through one system and do it for a full month and see how you feel about it don't be switching up systems like left and right just stay consistent with one thing and see how it works out and also let me know down below guys if you guys have any questions if you guys want to share me your work so i can rate it or you know give you guys feedback critique it whatever it is send them right through to my instagram my instagram is david escamilla just like my youtube name this is the end result guys i appreciate you guys for tuning in and watching my videos all the love and support i don't take it for granted guys i'm out of here